okay in this video i am going to show you how to perform the nodal analysis for a given circuit so here i have taken this circuit and i am going to perform the nodal analysis on it the question here is calculate the currents through all the resistors of a circuit shown below using nodal analysis method so here we have number of resistances and we have to calculate the currents flowing through them using nodal analysis method so when you are going to use nodal analysis method you have to remember five important things so the first thing is finding the nodes find nodes of this circuit and second thing is you have to label those nodes label nodes and third thing is indicate reference node this is the third thing and coming to the fourth one you have to write equations using jcl kirchhoff's current law and finally solve those equations to get the answers so now this is the given circuit first of all you have to find the node so here you should know about the node a node is nothing but a point where two or more elements are joined together so here these are the elements resistors and voltage sources so a resistance and a voltage source joined here it is said to be a node similarly here two elements are joined here it is also a node this one is also a node this one is also a node and all these are joined so this all becomes nodes okay but the thing is we have to find the essential nodes which are very important in solving this type of circuits so here these are not said to be the essential nodes so where two or more elements more than two elements are joined together those are said to be the essential nodes so here this one becomes an essential node so i will take this one and this one and all these are joined together so these are becomes essential nodes but you have to observe one thing here while labeling the nodes that is these essential nodes are joined together by a simple conductor wire so when they are joined by a simple conductor wire they belongs to the same labeling so if you indicate this as node v automatically this becomes node v why because they are simply joined together so if the point here and the point here joined together it makes no difference so both are said to be at node v and all these points are again joined together with a single conductor wire so all these can be taken as a reference node a reference node usually is a wire connected to the negative point so reference node will be equals to zero so this one is said to be a reference node this one is said to be a reference node this one is also said to be a reference node and now coming to this node as it is 5 volts so assume there the voltage is 5 volts so now here it is 2 volts so assume there the voltage is 2 volts so now we have finished indicate finding the nodes we have labeled the nodes v v v reference and we have indicated reference node v reference is equals to 0 now it's time to write equations using kcl so before using this kcl you can reduce this circuit and make an equivalent circuit so this circuit can be reduced like this So here what I have done means I have joined these two nodes which are similar nodes is V. Now 
from these V points there are two paths 10 ohm resistor path 12 ohm resistor path so what you do simply extend this like this one path and this path 10 ohms 12 ohms positive negative positive negative 5 volts 2 volts 2 ohms 3 ohms that's it so from this simple no single node we have extended two branches so here you can take one of the branches v reference which is equals to zero as all these points are similar so uh, i have taken a common reference as zero so now it's time to write equations using kcl to write the equations we have to assume the current direction so here the KCL states that sum of the currents entering into a node or the sum of the currents leaving the load will be equals to zero. So here at this node point we apply KCL. So I assume all the currents are leaving from this node itself and I assume that this node V is at higher potential when compared to this 5 volts and 2 volts. So here it can be 5 volts, here it is 2 volts. So whenever V is at higher potential current starts leaving from that point so here current starts leaving which is said to be i1 here it is taken as i2 here it is taken as i3 here it is taken as i4 now apply kcl at node v So what it states, sum of the currents I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4, I1, I2, I3, I4, which are all leaving from that node should be equals to 0. Now, I1, let's write the equation of I1 in terms of voltages and resistances by using Ohm's law. So apply ohm's law here the voltage across this resistor is nothing but the drop in that so the voltage drop across this resistor is v minus 5 v minus 5 divided by 2 ohms this is the ohm's law across this resistor for the current i1 plus i2 is v minus v reference which is zero so v minus zero is the voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistor and the resistance is 10. Similarly for I3 it is V minus V reference that is V minus V reference is zero divided by 12 ohms plus I4 is V minus 2 V minus 2 by 3 ohms so all this should be equals to 0 according to Kirchhoff's current law. So now by solving this we get the value of V. So how to solve the LCM of this is 60. So here 2 times so 30 times 30 V minus 150 plus 6 times 6V so 0 is 0 plus 5 times it is 5V so 0 is 0 plus 20 times 20V minus 40 should be equals to 0 so you get 61 V is equal to 190 from this equation so finally you get V is equal to 190 by 61 which is equals to 3.114 volts so this is the V voltage, V node voltage. 
now our aim is to find the currents i1 i2 i3 and i4 so to find i1 so here i1 is nothing but v minus 5 by 2 so which is 3.114 by 2 so here you get minus 5 which will be equals to minus 0 0.943 amperes and i2 is equals to i2 is v by 10 v by 10 which is 3.114 by 10 which will be equals to 0 0.3114 amperes i3 is so i3 is v by 12 v by 12 which is equals to 3.114 by 12 you get 0 0.262 amperes and finally i4 is equals to v minus 2 by 3 v minus 2 by 3 which is equals to 3.114 minus 2 by 3 you get the answer of 0 0.371 amperes so that's it by using the nodal analysis method we have found the voltage v at node v and by finding that voltage we can find the currents through all the resistances i1 i2 i3 i4 are the current values so that's it for now if you liked this Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.